Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's tip of the week. We're gonna be going through just our, our vents here and I wanna show you how simple it is to install these. These are probably one of our most popular items. We have them in the classic version as well as the fire version. So we're gonna get this installed. We have one already installed here previously and we're gonna show you how easy it is to install the second one. Simply slide it into place. You might have to make a couple minor adjustments with a hammer. You just tap it into place. But just look how simple that was. So the benefit to our vent over some of those other vents that may be on the market is we made our vents to the size of most manufactured products. And you can cut it in if you needed to as well. But the other feature that's nice about these is you're able to build on top of it. So it is structural. It has these V's that come back in. They're very simple. Instead of using some of those that are on the market with a vent that you would screw on or bolt on the outside, you'd obviously see those blue tap cons unless you're painting them was another extra step. Being able to just slip it or slide it into place, still being structural. So we wanna speak into the quality of this product. It's made out of stainless. So you're not gonna get it to rust. Would caution you not to cut it because once you do cut it, it will rust. So we have a couple different sizes of these vents. We have a 2.9 by 9.75. We have a 3.5 by 11. And we also have a 3.9 by 7.9. So those three different sizes, again, make it versatile for a lot of the manufactured block. So when installing vents, do we feel it is important to fasten the vent? You can put a little bit of glue on those tabs going back in to help it so it doesn't have as much wiggle. But for the most part, they're gonna stay stationary. There's not a lot of movement. Airflow is not gonna move these units. There's really nothing to worry about there. So with natural gas, obviously the air is lighter than that. So you want those vents up top. So in this application, we have natural gas. The vents are up top. In a propane application, we want those vents in the bottom because propane is gonna be heavier than air. With wood, the key is that we get an airflow to the bottom of that fire pit because obviously you need oxygen to create a good strong flame. In any of those applications, you also wanna check with the manufacturer to how much cubic inch you need of ventilation and you can see those details on our website. Thank you guys for watching this week's tip of the week. Hopefully it was informational, you got something out of it. And uh, if you want to learn more about the vents, you can obviously go to pavetool.com as well as check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again.